Hey YouTube, this is Perry with Bouncer Tips, the channel that teaches you tips and tricks to help you become a better bouncer. In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about this guy, the Arizona State ID, all of its features, and what you need to know to help you find a fake ID. Coming up. I started Bouncer Tips to build a community where we can talk about skill sets and ideas to help improve the nightclub and festival security industry. On this channel, you'll get product reviews, you'll get tutorials, and most importantly, we'll talk about how to keep you and your guests safe. Please feel free in the comments section to add any questions that you might want to have addressed for future episodes. In all my years working in the nightclub and festival industry, I've come across a lot of IDs. Each one of them have different features, different colors, different setups, but today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Arizona. In the marketplace right now, you'll notice that Arizona has two specific IDs that are out there. One is the older version, which was up until 2014, was the primary license for the state of Arizona. This one has a Grand Canyon picture on the background, in 2014, the Department of Transportation in Arizona came out with this new ID with a lot more features, a lot more ways to figure out whether it is a legitimate ID or if it's a fake document. There are all different types of features that are on this ID that this one is just lacking. This ID is still out there quite a bit though, because one thing unique about Arizona is it has a very long expiration date. Sometimes expiration dates in Arizona can go for 30 to 40 years before you're required to update your ID. Some of the primary differences between the old ID and the new one are a larger photograph on the front with a ghost image down here on the bottom. Also, you'll notice that there are some OVDs there's a state of Arizona symbol here, the seal of Arizona, and then a cactus with a star over this area. I'll show you a little bit more details as we get up close on these. Looking at this old ID, there's a couple of ways to determine whether it's a legitimate ID. The first thing to do is rub your finger right along the back edge right here. There's a crease or a little piece of laminate that you should feel with your hand. So when I go through my process, and if you wanna learn more about my process, you can check this video out right here. What I'll do is I'll hold my, this ID in my hand and I'll run my finger across the back just like this to make sure that it has that little ridge on there. That is a telltale sign that you're dealing with a legitimate older Arizona ID. The next thing I'll do with this Arizona ID is I'll take my flashlight and I'll hold it directly to the back. Using a flashlight, you'll be able to see the actual outline of the state of Arizona. On the old ID, there's another OVD right below the signature if you look at that with a magnifying glass, and you'll need a six time magnification to make sure that you can actually see it, there is some microprinting right underneath the signature that says the Grand Canyon State. So that's another indicator, an OVD that they put in place so you can identify the old ID as legitimate. On the old Arizona State ID, you'll notice that there's a seal right here in the middle or an OVD that is only visible by a UV flashlight. And I'll show you that right here. The state seal should be very clear. If you're looking for a quality UV light, one that has both light and UV features, check out my review right here of the ultralight zoom, which I found on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description. Now, like I said, this ID is not in circulation much anymore, but there is one more tiny little feature that is on here. That's a light variable OVD that says the Grand Canyon state across the front. Now that I've taken you through all the features of the old ID, we're gonna move forward and we're gonna talk a little bit about the current model, the one that came out in 2014, the one you'll see most commonly by most guests in the 18 to 25 age range. Now, the 2014 version of the document has a lot of different details and a lot of credentials, so I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth. I'm actually gonna use a microscopic camera so we can look at all the little details and nuances that are, make this ID a very good quality ID. I'm also, while we're doing that, going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to an ID that I actually confiscated from a guest about a week and a half ago. This ID is a very good quality fake ID However, I was able to catch it by looking at some of the different features that are on here and I'll show you side by side so you can see what I saw when I looked at this up close and hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference as well. One thing you'll notice about the Arizona ID is it's printed on all sides. So you'll notice that it's printed on the back, on the front, 
Even the physical sides, you'll notice that the barcode runs along the top. All the printing is on the sides of the ID. You'll be able to physically see printing that wraps around the edges from the front to the back. One other thing about this ID is it's made of plastic. It is a sturdy plastic. It is designed to bend, so if you squeeze this ID and you bend it, it should spring back to its original shape without any real warping or anything like that. It should spring right back. A comparison between the two is if you look at it, there's a little bit of a color difference between the two. Looking at the fake ID, you'll notice that they incorporate a lot of the similar features, or try to. It is a fairly durable plastic. It does not break or peel. Uh, it does respond back to its original spot. One thing you'll notice, however, is the printing seems to end just before the edges, so it looks like it's been ground down. It's not all the way wrapping around like the original or real ID. Some of the features of the ID, the real ID, is we've got the state of Arizona, we've got the seal of Arizona, and we've got a cactus with a little star right across the front in reflective material. If you take your flashlight across the back, you'll also notice that there is a perforation of the state of Arizona that you can see if you hold the flashlight behind it, and you'll notice that it almost is like the Arizona state symbol is floating there. On the fake ID, they also add some OVDs to try to make it look like the original. You'll also notice that they do have the perforations and the state outline, but you'll notice that the holes that are there are much fewer and there's actually a little defect right in the drilling of these holes. As we take a closer look, you'll notice that the holes on the real ID are super compact and really close together. Now these are tiny laser cut holes. On the fake ID, my belief is that they are actually drilling these to make it look so you have that same effect with your flashlight. But these other holes are bigger so you can see them visibly from the ID just looking at with your plain eye. Moving on down the side of the ID, you'll notice that there's a lot of microprinting. There's microprinting, a lot of squigglies, and that those squigglies even transfer on into the picture area. So if you look at this ID, there are tons of different characteristics on there that you should be able to see. As we get close to the bottom here, you'll actually see that the Department of Transportation puts microprinting. Now looking at the fake, you can see that they are not able to incorporate that same kind of detail. They have actually added some um, squigglies or some lines in here to make sure that it kind of looks like it and crosses over in the picture, but they cannot get that clarity of the writing with the printer that they are using or the copier that they're using. As we look at the picture itself, you'll notice that the Department of Transportation has added some microprinting across the bridge of the nose. They've also incorporated some microprinting along the forehead, Department of Transportation. And you'll notice that there is no outline along the top and you'll actually see some lines move into the blue. On the fake ID, however, you'll notice that they don't have any bridge across the bridge of the nose. There's no writing that is incorporated across the forehead. And one very important thing is that you'll notice that there is a halo effect around the outline of the picture, and that's usually done by photoshopping the picture. The photoshop cannot make that line clear enough, and none of her hairs scoot outside. Moving on to the real ID here, you'll notice that they incorporate a lot of different designs, pine trees. The fake just cannot pull off that kind of detail. As we go through here, you'll see that they don't have any of those details that you saw before. 
They can't even get the words Arizona that are in the sunrise here clear. Arizona Real ID will also incorporate a lot of different colors, varying shades of color. And you can see here that they get that Arizona clearly here with the sunrise across the mountains at the top of the ID. Another credential on this ID is if you notice at the very bottom, there's our state mammal, which is the ringtail. It's highly detailed, and that's something that the fake ID manufacturers aren't really capable of pulling off. So that's another indication of something that you should really take a look for. As we go down and look at the ringtail closer on the real ID, you can see that it's very distinctive. You can see that there's a lot of clarity, light of distinct lines. On the fake ID, however, there is very little detail. You cannot see clear outlines. The ringtail itself is not defined. You can see it. They were able to get it in there, but the photocopy is not really good. Again, on the real ID, just to give you an example, there's just microprinting all over this ID. Continue through here, you'll see that it continues up. The microprinting itself is on the ghost image. You'll see those perforations again. Again, all over the ID itself, it has little microprinting. They do a really nice job of making sure that you can see every phase of this ID clearly. One thing that the Arizona ID also has is it has the raised birth date. If you run your finger across that, uh, you'll be able to feel the raised birth date. The fake ID does it as well. However, the font is li a little bit different, but it is raised. Looking at the back of the ID, this is the fake ID. You can see that the detail is just not there, opposed to the real ID, which has just a ton of details along the strip across the back. All different types of writing, different font sizes, styles, and just things that your printer will not be able to pull off. And you can see that here with the fake ID. The lower left hand corner, they do incorporate the birth date as a secondary means of checking the birth date if the first one was altered at all. I hope you've enjoyed my complete breakdown of the Arizona ID. There's a lot of details and a lot of features to go through, I know, but I hope I've given you at least a, some insight of what to look for to make sure that you can find those fake IDs out there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and you've just been taken beyond the ropes.